iNotion is. I've been using Make for quite a while now. You might have seen my video more than a year ago, which explained some of the reasons why I use Make rather than Zapier for my automations. And today I've partnered with them to share this video, which explains how I use fireflies.ai to take transcriptions from my Zoom meeting recordings and store those in Notion so that I can easily access the notes about the meeting and also generate summaries of what was discussed and extract action points from that meeting transcription to save me time figuring out what was discussed and what I need to do after each of my meetings. I had been using Otter for my meeting transcriptions before, but it doesn't have an API. So as soon as I thought of this use case, and realized that that was gonna be a limitation, I switched to Fireflies. You could also use an OpenAI step in this scenario, but I'm just keeping it simple for now and using Notion AI for that. And as Notion AI develops, it's probably the more future-proof option. And obviously now we've got Notion Q&A, so we can search all of our meeting transcriptions in Notion and easily find the meeting where a particular topic was discussed and check what the outcome of that discussion was. So that's really useful. You will find the blueprint or the template for this make scenario in the description of the video, along with the Notion template, which you can just download for free. So if you want to get started with this straight away, you can, but if you want to understand how this automation works in a little bit more detail first, I'm just gonna walk you through that very quickly and then you can get stuck in. All right, so first of all, just to give you a little bit of context, we've got a really simple database set up here, which we're storing our meetings in. You'll be able to download this template from the link in the video's description. And basically all we're doing here is creating a page for each of our meetings. We're recording the date when the meeting took place and probably the time here as well. And then also who's attended the meeting. And the assumption is that you would have created uh, a page for each of your meetings in this database ahead of the meeting taking place. So that page would already be there for you when we go to use this automation. So if I switch over to make now, you can see this is the scenario that we've got set up here to process our transcripts. And this is a nice, simple sort of linear automation. There's no pass with any logic here. We're basically working our way through from the Zoom meeting being finished to the transcription being created and us fetching that transcription. Then we're processing the transcription, finding our meeting page in Notion and adding our transcription to the page. I've separated these steps here for now, uh, just while I'm doing this demo, because um, that allows me to run this automation and just fetch the most recent transcript without having to wait for this trigger here. But when you download this template, uh, this will be the trigger for the automation. Obviously, if you do want to run this manually for whatever reason, if you're like me and you only uh, generate your transcripts from videos that you upload into Fireflies um, and you don't need these two steps here, then you can just move this clock over to this step. That will make it the start of the automation and then by default this uh, automation will check to see if there's any new transcriptions every 15 minutes and the rest of the automation will work as you'd expect. So to go through this step by step, the idea here is we'll watch our Zoom meetings and assuming you are adding Fireflies to your meetings directly, so it's generating the transcript as the meeting is happening, all we need to do is watch our completed Zoom meetings and once a meeting has been completed, we're just going to wait for five minutes here so that Fireflies has time to finish generating the transcript. And then we're going to fetch our most recently generated transcript in this step. So here I've connected Fireflies to my user account. And when you make this API request, Fireflies just fetches the most recent meeting first. So we can limit this request to fetch our one most recent transcription. And that's gonna be the transcription of the most recently completed meeting. We don't need to um, add any filter criteria here at all. So we can just leave all of those fields empty. Then the transcription itself consists of sentences. And so we just need to iterate over those sentences. So this is an array of sentences. So it's a list of sentences from the transcription. And so we just need to loop through those sentences in order to process them. Then we've got this text aggregator step here, which takes those sentences and formats them so that they can be created as paragraphs in Notion using the format that Notion requires. So basically in terms of the content here, we're storing the speaker's name, we're formatting the start time so that we can work out uh, how many seconds into the meeting the sentence was spoken. And then we're also taking the text from the sentence itself and we're storing that as a paragraph inside our page. And then we're combining each of these JSON blocks 
into uh, essentially an array um, with commas in between each JSON block so that the JSON is stored in the correct format. Once we've done that, we can take those sentences that we've just combined into our JSON, format that like this. So basically storing them as an array of children, which is again, what Notion needs in order to add those sentences to our page. Then we're going to search Notion for our most recently completed meeting. So we're looking at the date property, which I showed you before. Um, that's this one just here. And we're looking for dates that are before now. And then we are finding the most recent date uh, that is before now. And that's obviously the day of our most recently completed meeting. Then we are going to loop through our children uh, a few times potentially, because if we've got more than 100 sentences that were spoken, uh, we can only add 100 sentences at a time to our Notion page. So we basically need to calculate the length of uh, our list of sentences, divide that by 100 to get the total number of loops that we need to do. And then we're going to take our sentences, which are in a particular position in the list. So if we are on our first loop through the sentences, uh, this is going to be zero. Um, if we're on our second loop, then that's going to give us a one, etc. So we're basically taking the first 100 sentences, then the next 100, then the next 100, uh, etc. And adding those sentences to our page. And once we've done that, you will see something that looks a little bit like this in terms of the transcription. This is a transcription from a Divering podcast episode with Ben Thompson and John Gruber. And the topic of the episode I thought was quite suitable because it was, will AI replace us? Uh, and so um, I've just transcribed that podcast episode here and we can read through the transcription right here. So we've obviously got the different timestamps for each different sentence here and who the speaker was. Obviously, just make sure that you have named your speakers in your meeting transcription in Fireflies before you run the transcription. So in this instance, um, we've got Ben Thompson there, John Gruber there, and obviously this is the transcription. Um, this is a slightly different layout for Fireflies because I've tweaked the site a little bit. Um, so don't be put off by that. And if we scroll back to the top of our page, I've also got some AI blocks which are included in the page template for these meetings. So we can start to use Notion AI now to generate some interesting summaries from this transcription. So if we just click generate here, Then we get this nice little summary of our transcription. I might ask the AI to make this a little bit longer to extract some detailed meeting notes, but that gives you some sense of, of what that looks like. Um, we've also got this block here, uh, which would generate a list of action items for us based on the transcription content. Obviously, uh, because this podcast episode is not a meeting about actions that need to be completed for a business, we're not going to be able to fetch any from this particular transcription. Uh, unfortunately, but obviously that's also going to be a useful use of Notion AI in this instance. And just to show you how the template is set up, uh, it just looks like this. Um, so when you create the new meeting page, you would obviously apply this uh, template by default, um, ideally. So we've just got this set as the default template for pages in this database right here. And then uh, once you've created the meeting page, you've had your meeting, you've maybe made some notes at the top of the page as well about the meeting, um, then this is ready for you so that when you generate the transcript, it's added beneath this header here and stored in Notion for you. So I hope that was useful. Just let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments and stay tuned because I'll be sharing more videos about more Notion automations like this one very soon.